Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a Harbor Freight heavy duty trailer dolly. I was gonna open it up, show you how to put it together, and then we'll do a quick test out in the backyard. I have a small boat back there, so we'll test it out, see if it's worth the money. I have all my parts laid out, ready to put this thing together. Here's the instructions, and all it is is a picture with all the different nuts and bolts where they go. So there's no actual step-by-step -step instructions with this set. To do this job, all you're gonna need is a three-quarter, 11 16 wrenches, sockets if you like, and a pair of needle nose. Also in the directions, the setup for all the bolts going in, it's gonna be your bolt, your piece, and then flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. Okay, I'm going to start off with the base and go ahead and install this connector. It's going to use one bolt. This is one of the smallest bolts in the set. There's two of these. Until I get the whole thing assembled, I'm just hand tightening it. Next up is the brace. This brace goes on just like that. The short fat bolt is gonna hold that in. And same thing, flat washer, lock washer, and the nut. Next up is the, the handle along with this V support and it's all these connect with one bolt, so it's going to be kind of, you got to put all this together at once. So I'm going to start by putting my bolt through here, add my handle, and then the V support, just like that. flat washer, lock washer, and nut. Uh, up top here, you use your other long bolt, but you also have this large flat washer. Okay, now that it's holding itself together, I can use my other long bolt and my other short bolt and put my nuts on. Then we can tighten it all up. I forgot to mention the ball. It needs an inch and a sixteenth wrench or if you have a crescent wrench, just use that. It also has a lock washer that goes on it. Now it came with a inch and seven eighths ball. Last up are the pneumatic tires. Um, they're low, so make sure you have your air pump. And they just slide on, washer goes on it, and then a pin. And you just want to bend your cotter pin back. That way your tires don't come off. There we go. The side of the tire says 30 pounds air. So I put 30 pounds in each one. We're going to go to the backyard, hook it to the boat, and test it out. Thank you. 
Well guys, that looks like a win. This thing went together easy. It works good, feels good and sturdy, and it pulls really good. A little harder to push, but all in all, it's a good piece, and 70 bucks, can't beat it. See y'all next time.